Canine parvovirus is back in the national spotlight after Michigan officials reported more than 20 dogs died from the extremely contagious disease last month. Joining us now is Dr. Bill Lewis from Lincoln Highway Vet Clinic to talk about the ways that pet owners can protect their dogs from the virus. Good morning, Dr. Bill. This is a serious conversation and something that people should look out for. So what exactly is this virus? The parvovirus is a intestinal virus um, spread primarily from what we call fecal oral routes. So, um, you know, a puppy steps in fecal matter that has the parvovirus organism, they clean off their feet and that's how they generally get it. And it's a virus that basically breaks down the lining of the small intestinal tract, which gives us our clinical signs of the diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, dehydration, lethargy, um, and, you know, some very serious components to the to the disease. Now, you mentioned some symptoms, but we know as, you know, fall approaches and the weather starts to get a little cooler, a lot of people will be out and about at dog parks, all of that kind of stuff. So we know, you know, when dogs get into other, around other dogs, that's one way it can spread. But what are some of the symptoms specifically that owners should look out for or big changes that they'll notice? Yeah, the, the very typical and telltale sign of parvovirus is a, a bloody diarrhea. Um, it can be extremely watery and bloody, um, not even having much form to it. Um, <clears throat> those of us that are in the veterinary profession, there's actually a very distinct odor about parvovirus. And, you know, oftentimes we can just tell by smelling it. But um, along with that, you can have, again, the uh, lethargy. Um, you know, you can have vomiting with it. Um, you can tell that the pup just doesn't feel good. Um, you don't have to have fevers with it. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, worse to not have a fever that the temperatures can actually be a little bit below normal. But the very classic is that bloody diarrhea. And obviously, if you see that, call the vet right away. So what are some of the treatments and ways that this could also be prevented? Yeah, treatment standpoint um, oftentimes involves intensive care. Uh, so we place the dog on intravenous fluids to counteract the dehydration. Uh, we'll put them on intestinal protectants to try to help the line of the intestines to heal um, as best as we can. And the most important part of dealing with a parvovirus infection and treatment is antibiotics, because what generally causes the death of the animal is bacteria in the intestines, because the lining's been destroyed, the bacteria in the intestines get into the bloodstream, cause a septicemia, and that's usually what ends up causing the death of the animal. So antibiotics are used. Um, and it can range depending on the severity of the disease from, you know, one to two days of uh, intensive therapy on up to, you know, four or five days of intensive therapy. And treatment, or I'm sorry, prevention um, is vaccines. It's very, very easy to prevent, but it has to start with the moms. So we have to make sure the moms are vaccinated appropriately. Therefore, the antibodies will be in the colostrum, the milk, the puppies nurse, and they'll have some degree of protection. But then the puppies have to go through a series of vaccinations, given about three weeks apart, usually three total. Um, but where we run into issues is if somebody buys a puppy, they're told it had its puppy shots, they think it had all of its puppy shots and don't do the follow-ups that the prevention we need. So a lot of things for people to talk with their vets about. As always, Dr. Bill Lewis, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We have a lot more information. You'll find it on our website, fox43.com.